Well, each year more Americans are training cocktails for mocktails as part of dry January. That's helping people reset in the new year and sparking big business for companies creating non-alcoholic beverages. Fox's Anna Eliopoulos has a look. We've ushered in a new year, putting all the holiday celebrations and parties behind us. Now a growing number of drinkers are choosing to avoid alcohol for the month as they participate in dry January. According to consumer research group CGA, 35% of people raised an alcoholic alternative in 2022, up from 21% in 2019. And that number's expected to be even higher this year. People want to continue to build and maintain these new habits, but still go out and gather and have fun. In response to the influx of people turning to sober options, companies are creating alcohol-free beers, wines, and spirits. And more and more bars and restaurants are putting them on the menu. Sales of non-alcoholic beverages spiked by more than 20% last year, with continued growth predicted through at least 2026, according to data. Event ticketing site Eventbrite says classes and other events are also reflecting the trend of people wanting to socialize while sober. We've seen that mocktail events on Eventbrite have more than doubled compared to last year, and attendance to these types of events have grown by nearly three times. Medical experts say dry January is a good opportunity to reset the body and focus on overall wellness. It's really about them coming back into balance getting their metabolism back in order, getting their blood sugar back in balance, and really helping to increase hydration. Those aren't the only health benefits from abstaining from drinking for 31 days. A new study finds a month without booze led to better sleep, less anxiety, and more energy. In New York, Anna Eliopoulos, Fox News.